Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, today with something a little bit different. I do run a basketball blog. It's basketball777.blogspot.com. While I normally don't uh, give predictions on basketball events, I do when I see a decided edge. And I see a decided edge in the Cleveland Cavalier Orlando Magic series. As I make this video, the Magic are up two games to one. Cleveland is favored in tonight's game by a point and a half, according to the latest line as of this video. And uh, you can get huge odds, 6.5 to 1. If you were to pick Orlando to win the series in five games, you also get 2 to 1 if Orlando wins the series in six games. I believe Orlando will win the series. I think Las Vegas has these lines exactly wrong. The differences between the two teams I see are structural. Zaruna Solgowskis simply does not have the foot speed to keep up with Dwight Howard. That forces uh, Cleveland to have Barrezo on the court, and he simply is offensively limited. It puts a cap on Cleveland's offensive output. Also, Cleveland lacks the perimeter defender to stick. Uh, Mikel Pietras, uh, Hedu Turkoglu, and Rashard Lewis. These guys uh, feast from the outside. They should dominate in Game 4, I believe, given a 3-1 lead. If that happens, it's going to be awfully hard to beat Orlando in 5 in the series. My recommendation to you given the very tasty odds of six and a half to one for Orlando to win the series in five and two to one for Orlando to win the series in six is to take both of those options and straddle that bet uh, because quite frankly um, rather than get the uh, minus 105 for taking the uh, magic uh, tonight you could literally if you're a patient better with the long-term horizon get possibly six and a half to one or two to one odds. Uh, the way to do a straddle is to uh, view it from the side of your winnings. Uh, anytime you have two options where the odds are greater than one to one, you have an opportunity to make money by betting on both of them. Uh, here, it's relatively easy to hedge because the small bet, Orlando in six, is two to one, whereas the bigger bet, is six and a half to one. Just make sure that your winnings on both neutralize the bet investment you would make on the losing bet. So if you were to bet 10 on uh, Orlando in five and 10 on Orlando in six, just understand that if you won the lower bet, the Orlando in six, you would win $20 and the 20 would more than offset the 10 you bet on Orlando in five, leaving you with a $10 profit. Um, of course, that's a 50% um, rate of return. In fact, it's even better than that if you think it through. Since you're getting the one, the $10 back that you bet on Orlando in six, you literally would gain uh, $20 and only lose 10 on that bet. So you would net $10 in the entire process. Of course, if you win on Orlando in five, then you get $65 back minus the 10 you would have spent in insurance for Orlando in six, leaving you with $55 in profit on an initial $20 outlay. So um, I hope you give that a look. Orlando um, is not just playing well. They are structurally superior to the Cleveland Cavaliers. As in boxing, styles make games in the NBA. It's not necessarily that Orlando is a better team than Cleveland. It's just that Orlando matches up phenomenally well. So uh, the casinos have it wrong. Take a look at that series. I'm expecting Orlando to win that series in five or six games. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Also visit us at basketball777.blogspot.com. And remember, when you bet, always use your head. Good luck.